Hello gamers, this is Pet from GamerPet.com and welcome to Pet Plays Crusader Kings uh, 2, episode number 6. Uh, I'm still trying to speak loud and clear. Sometimes when I'm playing, it seems that I'm mumbling. I'm going like, and let's see, see and, and that the volume is going kind of down. And I hate that. So, sorry guys, I'm still trying to work on me speaking when I'm playing. It's kind of hard, to be honest, hard. <laughs> okay. In the last episode, I led you with the with the question: Can Pet create the kingdom of England? And the answer is is the jour claim click the kingdom of England. Yes, Pet can create the kingdom of England. It will cost because I own 55% of the whole region of England, and it will get me 400 prestige, but I will lose 307 gold and 200 piety. The gold is a problem, and my question is, why does it cost piety? Is because the Pope needs to approve this, or why? Now, I want to do something else. You know, like, my ambition right now is to have a son, which is not happening yet. I want to cancel it and see if I can select a new ambition to become King, uh, king of England. Become King of England. I will gain 1000 prestige. Okay? Okay. So, right now, let's create the Kingdom of England. Okay, guys, you are here. You are a witness. You are our wi my witness. If someone asks you, you will say, Pet became King of England. Yes. Alright, I became King of, e king of England. Alright, alright. Uh, the ambition is still there. The ambition disappeared, and I have fulfilled the ambition to become king of England. Look how much piety I have, my god. Sorry, my, how much prestige I have. You know, the, the last run with uh, our father, with Duke Alfred the first, was kind of good. But now with the score we have, we basically matched our father with only how many years of reign? Four, five? I'm not sure. Which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. So look, the the border change to to yellow orange because we are a king now. Let's pick a new ambition, basically to have a son, because come on, woman, do stuff. Are you fertile or something? I don't see her being fertile. Anyway, we only have a daughter who is turning out to be okay with the skills but still I don't want a female ruler because if we have a female ruler people are going to be upset because she's a female ruler and they want a male they will, I will get about minus 10 or minus uh, 20 I believe so look how beautiful the map is looking like this what's happening in this part of the world Temes this is where I live the Byzantine Empire Let's actually see. Okay, Italy. Italy. Oh my god, look what Italy is doing. Jesus Christ. I, I usually don't pay attention to what happens in the other part of the world, but Italy is Jesus Christ. Basically, they took almost half of France, and France is basically broken into different lands. Okay. Maybe that was normal in that year, but I'm not sure. Brittany, part of Brittany there. And look, basically this part of Britain, or maybe is this one, because it's of the same color. They have the same name but different colors. Part of Ireland is there. And look, Jorvik basically got a pro part of Ireland. I should actually declare war with them, and I will declare war with them. Not yet, not yet, but later. Look, I can create a new title, which I'm not going to do it yet because it's very expensive. And I need to keep my money. So let's see what's going to happen in the next few years. So have they decided to hold a feast, even that people were kind of happy with me anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm, I lost some money on the feast, but Meyer always shall cut the throat of one of my servants when the clumsy man spilled wine over his garb. Well, normally I will imprison him and I will gain the trait just, only that I already have that trait. And um, <laughs> it's it's this bug. All vassals' opinion of not tax 4k about <laughs> changes for minus 20 for 120 months. Do who do I do people get upset of me for two years of minus 20? Because if so, 
I don't want to do that. So I just decided to lose one hundred or eleven gold. It seems to be safer. Hopefully we are not going to go at war now. Okay. Lord Mayor Elfo spoke spoke up and told everyone how great the food of my feast was. I was really glad someone was kind enough to say something nice about the food, given how hard I had worked to ensure that the food was the best part of the feast. I should actually read these messages aloud, that way I will work on my on pronunciation and maybe you guys want to help me out on learn English better. That was well spoken, thank you. <laughs> okay. The last of the guests has returned home and everyone agreed it was this year's greatest feast. Diplomacy plus five, general opinion plus five. All right, oh, okay, state diplomat. And um, I started talking to one of my guests at the feast and found the most interesting. Hours flew by, wine bottles were emptied, other guests excused themselves and went to bed, but we kept talking until the wee hours. I have never met more fascinating person. I have never, I haven't even, I haven't ever met a more fascinating person. This dude. His opinion of me is, he's, oh, he's not really that great, but maybe now after this, nope, still 10, still 10. Raiders have returned. Where? Okay. Oh my god, in Jorvik. Can I raise the levies here? No, I can't. There are no levies. Can I raise no levies here? So basically I need to raise some army from here and send them on top. 400 men there. They will arrive, not at the same time, they will arrive in... I might lose some of them. Uh, come on, dude, reinforce. Okay, should be okay. Okay, let's see. I don't usually like gossip, but I couldn't help agree with a gossiper. That proud courtier sure needs to get a grip on reality. I will... I talked to the courtier about the gossip. The sins of pride this lady she's basically the woman of this dude i don't want to upset anyone quick i have a chance to gain the trade slotful i don't want that it's not nice to talk with people about their back ah fuck them it's not nice i don't care they don't hear us she didn't know what i was talking about i lost 10 prestige and she, his opinion what <laughs> minus 20 for four years love uh funny Eh, yeah, right, the woman is pregnant. Alright, the woman is pregnant. So right now I believe I can put the army down. So what should be our next move? I can declare war on Mercia. I have I have a claim. I can de declare war for every province here. Because again, I'm the king of England. And this land supposed to be mine. Because I'm the king of England. That That's the idea behind it. So I'm not sure what to do it. I don't actually like that my land is splitted, bit like some land here, some la some land on top. So I will kind of declare war. However, I also don't like that Jorvik is still there. Actually, yeah, Jorvik. Yeah, Jorvik basically only has these two lands, and this dude, it says Dunholm. It doesn't say. Uh, never mind. If, if we zoom out, will it say Jorvik? I can't see it because of the armies. Anyway, I will see. I have to decide what to do. Look, Norway is in Scotland. And this land is also from Jorvik. It will be hard to conquer it. But I will do it. Oh my god, how, how unlucky can I be? I have another daughter. Boerfell. I will not name her like that. I will name her some English name. What's an English name? Uh, what's an English name? Come on. Uh, I, I, my God. I'm thinking about some actors, some American actors. Not Penelope Cruz, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I can't think. I can't think. I will just name her Brittany, like that. I sh I'm sure it's, it's not written like that, you know, from Brittany Murphy. 
but hey, what the hell, I can just name her whatever I want. During my visit to the Corloy Mayor at Full Force, I seem to have managed to make him understand how good I am. Very good, dude, very good. 54. Nice. Everyone needs to be happy. Oh, look. Who is she? My sister. Is of legal age. Ooh, and she became a great eminence. She's a keeper. Come on. Come on. Why? Because super high diplomacy. She will be a guardian to my kids. Uh, but then again, let me marry her matrinal so every kid from her will actually be from my dynasty hmm but who this guy is weak i don't want and he's he, he seems black even though he's an italian this guy is a castilian and this guy is charismatic negotiator this guy seems seem okay. This guy actually wants to get married. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should actually get someone that I could actually use. Maybe a steward. I don't. Oh, stewards are bad. And okay, I don't like anyone actually. So I will just get this guy is a bastard, but he's also deceitful. So I don't want people like that in my court. This guy is greedy. This guy is wroth. But after all, he's pretty good at masterful he's a masterful diplomat this guy minus 20 okay bad idea i don't actually want to to do it so bad for her i could marry but never it doesn't even matter right now i can just declare war on england so i can own on, you know the mercia province i don't need to create any any marriages so when they die i will inherit the title so still minus 20 with this one what about with this one okay it seems to be okay with this one i won't lose anything i i will only gain two prestige though so. that seems fine what the hell arrange marriage basically king charles of italy will marry my sister um, hmm. That's an interesting thing. But. How would it. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because I'm not marrying her matrina, right? And I'm also. Seems that they really want to marry to her. But then again, even. I s just sent her away. They will make some kids. Those kids won't be mine from my dynasty. It is will create an alliance with me, I believe, but still nope. This dude King King uh -huh. now with King of Scotland, that's going to be a bit more interesting. Because he's closer to me. He's closer to me. This will allow me to create an alliance with him and maybe declare war on who? On Norway. Uh he doesn't have a an heir. And he's not even married so huh. the kid that will be born the idea is to marry him and then kill him how how but if you marry him and then we will kill him this dude will become the king of scotland so let's just accept yeah fuck it let's just accept she oh my god she left the court the court that was bad. I shouldn't have accepted. The, the purpose was f for me to keep her. So I, so she can train my babies. She's a great eminence after all. So what... His opinion of me is pretty great. And... <laughs> I can't actually assassinate him. 24% uh, chance to successfully assassinate him. And only a dude with 9% wants to help me. So basically I have no chance to assassinate him. So this was a bad idea. Uh, her name is Sinterthia. Let me see. She won't be... If I want to pick a guardian for, let's say, her. Yep, you see, she's not here. Only this dude. And that's it. And this dude is a hunchback. <laughs> uh, why have I done this? M maybe it's going to be okay. I'm not sure. Now I have another dilemma. 
this is my heir. My brother is basically my heir. Since I don't have any son, right? My stat seems to be seems to be pretty nice now. But this is my brother. He's two years younger than me, and his stats are okay. Like twenty one, uh, diplomacy sixteen, uh, sixteen martial. He's married. He has a <laughs> he has a liege, <laughs> who is also <laughs> who I'm the liege of her. So he, he also has a daughter, my niece. Uh, so this is a deal. If I die, I will play with this dude. Is that really bad? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hopefully, I will still get a kid or something. Die in the dungeons of pet. <laughs> oh my god, Stefan died. So what else can we do? Basically, I'm I'm trying to get the uh, actually army levies are ready. No important decisions available. I can basically hold a grand tournament. That's all. That's the important decision, and I don't want to hold a tournament right now. Or should I? I lose 200 gold. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to do that. 200 gold is a lot. Um, I have the army to declare war. Who should I declare war on? They are basically fighting over these lands. I should declare war and conquer. Which one? Which province? Lincoln. 39. No, these two seem to be more okay. Then Lincoln, Warwick. Can I declare war on Jorvik? But what will I conquer? Oh, never mind. Jorvik is actually getting his land back, and I can get. Actually, no. Never mind. I still need to wait some years. Even if I declare the Jure claim, I will still lose a lot of prestige. So the only normal thing to do is to declare war on. I can offer vassalization to him, but he must be at peace, and he's still not at peace. And I cannot uh, offer him to join uh, to join his war in order for him to finish it. But I, I doubt that he will accept my vassalage, to, to be my vassal. So, let's declare war and gain a county. But which one? Bedford... Should we get Bedford? Huh. Let's see. W which one is the best? This one, 2, 5, 3, 34, 41 for both of those. 39. I'm, I'm watching the coins here and also these uh, stats. 28. This one is simply dried up. They fought so much on those that there is no point. I'm curious if I basically, if I will win a war, will I only get this small region or the whole thing and make him my vassal? So let's actually declare war and claim uh, Bedford because he's, I know, it's closer to me. Even that Northampton seems larger. He hates me a bit. Let's rise the army up. I have a lot of army actually. Oh my god, I even I even got the army from top. And that's not really good. Look, they are fighting here. I've lost the fight already. But I still have a lot of army. Never mind. <laughs> it was like uh, see this is why the game does not allow you to declare war when you have your army up because when you declare war, it's a, it also comes to logistics. So, okay. I have this dude, 22, Jesus Christ. This dude is good. 22, Marshall. 19 and 16. I'm I'm 16. Should I actually lead the battle? Uh, I'm an organizer. I'm a brilliant strategist, of course. Let's just lead. Hopefully, I won't die. If I die, it will make the game a bit more, I don't know, different. I caught my young ward princess and uh, torturing a red child. I don't actually, she, she's already cruel. Ah, she didn't lost it. Ok, 
Okay, a call to arms. I will lose 25%. Basically, the guy of Scotland, I, I will have to accept. He's fighting Norway. Jesus Christ. He is fighting Norway. Okay, but we will we will manage it. I will actually go up and help him a bit. Maybe, who knows. Maybe this will be a good thing. And Scotland will become like my brothers and stuff. I'm still trying to conquer this region. And then I will go up. My liege, I have collected a tie. Okay, excellent news. 57 coins. That's pretty good. And still waiting for this siege to go down. I see the... The what these are the numbers inside and this uh, is the moral you can actually send huh, adopt his ideas uh, you can actually assault the keep but you might lose a shitload of units so you, you, need, you need to be very careful and another thing that I want to actually verify uh, I remember one of my marshals was a cavalry reader, re leader surrender will come sooner Okay, I want that one, and I need to drive them away. A blown was stuck. Yep, yeah, I'm he's just basically he's running away. King Island of Scotland won. <laughs> okay, uh, fighting won another fight. Let's actually conquer Northampton. I'm curious. Maybe if I get more provinces like this without their keep, they will actually be mine. No, let, let's do a test. We should do a test. Hmm. Oh, construction have broken out in Middlesex. That's bad. Oh. She's... F it's not appropriate. I will gain 10 piety. I have been... Actually, I don't have enough kids, but I don't want a bastard. You know, Jon Snow. Leave. Hmm, okay. He will drag get the trait humbled. She's already humbled. So basically she gained nothing. Victory. Let's get this one. Sometimes you have to wait and Waiting, it's ah. I see. It, it is what usually happens whenever, whenever you are at war and don't have your army. Your your army is away. They you, you will start to get raided. And yay, that you died. <laughs> I have a defeat there. <laughs> he wishes. Okay, so. <coughs> Okay, feel get in love. Maybe you will get more kids. Uh, this dude is my nephew. Let's train him as a spy master. We kind of need people like that. Look, a spy master. Train him. Okay. Uh, it seems that I got these provinces back. They are not colored anymore. They were basically under control of Mercia or something like that. And. Ah, they got 10% morale. And he <laughs> he's doing my siege here. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode now and here because it's going to be a lot of waiting of me doing this siege, this siege, this siege and so on. So this was episode 6, I believe. Thank you guys for tuning in. And don't forget to follow the next episodes. I will continue to play this game as much as possible. I want to see how things are going to turn out. And it might become an interesting journey. So thank you guys for watching. See you in my next episode. Goodbye.